this video, we're learning how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. And at the top of the screen, we see some tips for multiplying fractions by whole numbers. It says to multiply a fraction by a whole number, turn the whole number into a fraction by putting it over one, then multiply straight across, cross reducing if possible. So I'll show you guys how to do that, starting with example one. So example one is six times three fourths. So we need to change 6 into a fraction. The easiest way to do that is just to put it over 1. So 6 is equal to 6 over 1. So really we have 6 over 1 times 3 over 4. And now we're just going to multiply like we would normal fractions. So first we want to see if we can simplify either the fractions or cross reduce. In this case, we can cross reduce the 6 and the 4 by dividing them both by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And now I'm just going to multiply straight across. 3 times 3 gives me a 9 as my numerator. 1 times 2 gives me a 2 as my denominator. And finally, I'm just going to change this into a mixed number. So 2 goes into 9 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8, so there's 1 left over. So we get that 9 halves is the same as 4 and a half, so we get 4 and a half as our answer. Let's take a look at number 2. So in number 2, the fraction and the whole number are flipped, but we're still going to use the same concept. So we have 8 ninths times 24. So we need to start by making 24 into a fraction by putting it over 1. So 24 is just the same as 24 over 1. So now we have 8 ninths times 24 over 1, and we want to see if we can cross-reduce. We can cross-reduce 9 and 24 by dividing them both by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So now I have 8 times 8 on the top, which is 64. 3 times 1 on the bottom, which is 3. Now I want to change this into a mixed number. So 3 goes into 64 21 times. 21 times 3 is 63, so we have 1 left over. So we get 21 and a third as our answer. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've got your answer correct. So example three is 10 times 8 fifteenths. So we're going to start by turning 10 into a fraction by putting it over 1. So we're going to have 10 over 1 times 8 over 15. And now we want to see if we can cross reduce. And we can cross reduce 10 and 15 because they're both divisible by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And now we're just going to multiply straight across. So 2 times 8 is going to give us 16 in our numerator. 1 times 3 is going to give us 3 in our denominator. Finally, change this into a mixed number. 3 goes into 16 5 times. And 5 times 3 is 15. So we have 1 left over. So we get 5 and 1 third as our answer. Let's go over the last one, which is 4 21st times 14. So again, same thing. We keep 4 over 21 as it is, and we change 14 into 14 over 1. Now we're going to see if we can cross reduce, and we can cross reduce 14 and 21 by dividing them both by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And we're going to multiply straight across. So multiplying the numerators, 4 times 2 gives us 8. Multiplying the denominators, 3 times 1 gives us 3. And finally, change this into a mixed number. 3 goes into 8 twice, and 3 times 2 is 6, so we have a remainder of 2. So we get 2 and 2 thirds as our answer. So I hope this video has helped you guys learn how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. Remember that you just need to put the whole number over 1 to turn it into a fraction, and then multiply how you would always multiply fractions, remembering to simplify and cross-reduce when possible.